Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching Team APS. I'm Paul and I'm with Alex today. And we're gonna be doing a one life point Yu-Gi-Oh challenge. That means we're going to duel and if you lose any life points at all, you'll automatically lose. So it's like sudden death. Now there are a couple of rules. We each have five decks picked out for this challenge. And the first person to five wins, wins the entire thing. You have to change decks after each duel. We won't know what the other person is going to change their deck to. And of course, neither will you guys. So yeah, before we hop in, be sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe. Help us get to 200,000 subscribers. And that's it. All right, let's duel. Okay, round one. One, one two, two, three. three. Tenyi. Marensis. Okay, interesting, huh? Dice roll. Eight. Three. All right. Okay. Main phase, I'll summon my Marincess Pasquis in attack mode. I'll also summon my Marincess Seahorse. I'll be licking off my Seahorse, my Marincess Blue Slug. So I'll take back my Seahorse. Now my Seahorse, by its own effect, can special summon itself to the field, to a zone. One of my, my Marincess Link Monsters points to. Let's link summon again, using up my Seahorse for my Marincess Sea Angel, Battle Ocean. Let's link summon again, using up Blue Slug and Pascalus. My Marincess Crystal Heart. Next, I'm going to activate my Marincess Battle Ocean, link summon with my Crystal Heart and my Marincess Sea Angel to make a Link 3 monster, my Marincess Marble Rock. So when Marble Rock is link summoned, my Marincess Battle Ocean activates. I get equipped with three um, Marincess Link monsters in my grave with different names. So all together, it's getting 2,000 attack. So it's got 4,500 right now. Unaffected kind of by your card effects. I'm going to activate my Marbled Rock's effect. I can target one Marincess card in my grave and add it to my hand. Seahorse. And now I'll activate my Swap Frog in hand. By discarding one water monster, I can special summon it to the field. Let's send another Swap Frog. Now I'll activate the Rona Toad and I discarded earlier. I can banish a frog monster in my grave. Special summon my Rona Toad into the field. Totally all. Oh, uh, okay, I'll leave it in attack mode. Yeah. <laughs> That's zero defense. Yeah, zero defense problem. is probably not the best. My turn? Yes. All right, I'll draw. Okay, it's time to see if I can deal any damage. Cool. Is it your standby phase? Yes, it is. All right, my totally awesome activates. I can detach one of its exiles material and special summon one frog monster from my deck. All right, here's my swap frog. So swap frog's effect does activate. I get to send level two aqua monster to the grave. We'll go send this thrown in toady. All right, since I control no effect monsters, I will special summon my Vishuda from my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and use him as link material. My Monk of Tenyi. That monk little thing. Alright. I'll activate my Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. Interesting. I will chain my Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring by discarding it from my hand. No way. And negate the effect. Alright, well I'll activate my Field Spell Flawless Perfection of the Tenyi. Activate the effect of my Tenyi Spirit of Vishuda. Totally awesome. Fine, I'll have to chain my Totally Awesome's effect. Okay. We'll negate your effect. By tributing an aqua, right? Yep. We'll tribute this swap frog. Okay. Just to get him out of here. I don't control any effect monsters, so I will special summon my Tenyi spirit, Nahata. I will link summon with my monk of Tenyi and Tenyi spirit, Nahata, in order to make shaman of the Tenyi. It takes two worm monsters. I can discard a card and target a worm in my grave and special summon it, but then I'll only be able to use the effects of worms in the extra deck for the oh rest no. of the turn. Um, or Tenyu's in the extra deck for the rest of the turn. I will activate my Shaman of the Tenyu's effect and discard my Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. I honestly don't think I'm going to get another turn to use it. And target my... Um, you had a second one, I should have known. Monk of the Tenyu and special summon it. Makes sense. Okay, I'm going to enter the battle phase and I will declare an attack with my Monk of Tenyi. I'm going to attack totally awesome. And on attack declaration, I'll be using my Shaman of the Tenyi's effect. Since an attack was declared involving one of my non-effect monsters, I can target one of your cards and destroy it. Uh -oh. I will use my Tenyi Spirit Nahata. Since my um, non-effect monster is battling, mm. I can banish this from my graveyard and your monster will lose 1500 attack until the end of the turn. 
So, so now totally I'm awesome. Cutting my attack down to seven hundred. We'll go to seven hundred. I'll activate my marbled rock. I can discard a worthless card in my hand, and now neither of us will take battle damage from this battle. And our monsters can't be destroyed. destroyed. Well, main phase two then. I will, I will normal summon my Tenyi spirit Mapura. Turn it into. <laughs> I'll make monk of Tenyi here. I'm going to link shaman and monk. Draco Masters of the Tenyi. Ooh. Yeah, they can't be destroyed by battle with effect monsters. <laughs> if I control no other effect monsters, I can destroy effect monsters you control up to the number of non-effect monsters that I control and in my grave. So I will activate his effect. Oh gosh. I have one non-effect monster here, and then I've also got Monk of the Tenyi. So I can destroy two of your two effect monsters. So I'm going to destroy Totally Awesome and Marincess Marble Rock. <laughs> You're so If I could have done this before the battle phase, it would have been perfect. Both of my monsters do have effects that can activate here. We'll start with Totally Awesome as Chain Link 2, and Marble Rock with Chain Link 1. So Totally Awesome, when it's um, sent from field to grave, I can add one water monster from my grave to my hand. I'll send my Totally Awesome back to the extra deck. My Marble Rock's effect... Oh wait, I don't think it has any. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, I don't think it does that. Well, in main phase 2 then, we're also going to link oh, this new game. boss monster. Tenny Spirit Sahasra. What? I control a face of non-effect monster. I don't currently. Monsters you control cannot target my effect monsters for attacks or with card effects. Also, I have quick effect. I can target one of your effect monsters and special summon a Tenny Spirit token. Its attack is going to be equal to the original attack of whatever I targeted. That's all for now. Your move. That's so great. Okay. It's time to try to do a thing. I will activate the Runa Toad into my graveyard. I'll banish Swap Frog and special summon it to the field in defense mode. I'll activate my other Runa Toad because I set this up ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Banish the other Swap Frog. Must be nice. Special summon Rodent Toten. I'll activate my Marintess Pascalus in Graveyard. So what does she do? I can banish her from the graveyard to add a Marintess Spell or Trap card from my grave to my hand. Oh, okay. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll add my Battle Ocean back to hand. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and activate my Tenyu Spirit Sahasrara. Okay. I can target one of your monsters and summon myself a token. So I'm just going to make my token be... Okay. I'm gonna special summon my Dragon Duel token, or my Dual Dragon token. So it has 100 attack. I'll go ahead and summon my Marincess Mandarin, and I'm going to link summon with her. Okay. For Marincess Blue Slug, you remember her. And that'll also activate my Flawless Perfection. Since you summon an effect monster while I control a non-effect monster, I can draw two cards. Yay. I'm going to use her effect to add one Marincess monster from grave to hand. We're gonna go get back my Marincess Seahorse. And I'll go ahead and use her effect to summon herself to a zone, a Marincess Lake Monster points to. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my Battle Ocean now before I forget. Overlay my Ronin Totems for a totally awesome. We'll see if I can leave it on attack, but if we'll see it's alright. Next, we'll Lake Summon off this Marincess Seahorse for a second Marincess Blue Slug. I can now activate my Marincess Mandarin in the graveyard. Spell Summoner 2, a zone, one of my Marincess Lake Monsters points to. We'll link off this Blue Slug and this Mandarin for my Marincess Coral Anemone. I'll use Coral Anemone's effect. I can spell summon a Water Monster from the grave of 1500 less attack to a zone she points to. Oh yeah, this got banished when it was set. We'll go ahead and grab Seahorse. Leave her here. Link off Coral Anemone and Seahorse for a new Marbled Rock. I'm still not using my Field Spells effect yet. I'll activate my Marbled Rock's effect, and I'm going to add back to hand a Marinza Seahorse. Link again, Marbled Rock and Blue Slug for a Link 4 monster. My Marinza Wonder Heart, and this time I will be using my Field Spells effect. I'll equip her with this Marbled Rock, this Coral Anemone, and we'll give her this Marinza Crystal Heart here. She's gaining 2,000 attack, so she's at 4,400, and to the battle phase. Yep. Okay, I'm going to have my Totally Awesome attack your token. That's all right with me. So I'll have my Marincess Wonder Heart with her 4,400 attack your Tenny Spirit Sahasrara. And I don't and have uh, anything, so... Oh, nice! Did I get the damage? Way. All right, round two. All so right. currently, Alex won, Paul zero. Yes. Um, what deck did you pick? I picked Harpies. I picked Witchcrafters. You can have the first move. I'll activate my Hysteric Sign from the hand. When it's activated, I can go ahead and search an Alligate Egotist from the deck. 
Next, I summon Harpy Chandler. Response. No response to that. I'll use their effect. Discard mm -hmm. one Harpy card, and I can specify one Harpy monster from my deck and face up defense mode. Harpy Perfumer. Wow. Yeah, once you summon, I can search a spell or trap card that lists Harpy Lady Sisters in the text. My Harpy's Feather Rest. I'll activate my Elegant Egotist. I can press summon a Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters from the deck. I'll get the Harpy Lady Sisters. Since I control a level 5 or higher Harpy monster, I can now special summon my Harpy Oracle from my hand. And if she was summoned to the field, one spell or trap from my grave to hand that lists um, Harpy Lady Sisters in its text. So I'll get back my Elegant Egotist. We will Link Summon using this Harpy Oracle and my Harpy Perfumer. For my Harpy Conductor, I'll activate my Elegant Egotist in the hand. My Harpy Lady 1. Overlay. My Baguska the Terribly Tired Taper. And I'm going to now move towards my end phase. Alright, I'll draw. I'll activate my Witchcrafter Creation. So okay. it lets me grab a Witchcrafter from my deck to my hand. I'm gonna grab Witchcrafter Shmieta. Normal Summon Shmieta. She'll get switched to defense, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll activate Book of Moon and target Baguska. Switch it uh, face down defense position. Oh no. Now I can use my Witchcrafter Shmieta's effect. I'll tribute her and discard my Witchcrafter Holiday. So this lets me summon a Witchcrafter from my deck. I'm going to summon my Witchcrafter... my Witchcrafter Hain. I'll go ahead and use Witchcrafter Shimeta's effect. I can banish her from my graveyard to send a Witchcrafter Spell or Trap from my deck to the graveyard as well. In this case... Okay, I'll send Witchcrafter by Street into the battle phase and attack Harpy Conductor. I can save her, but you I take lose damage. damage anyway. So that's game two. <laughs> okay. So the score is Paul one, Alex one, one, two, three, Megalix. Cyber Dragons. I think I want to go first. All right, I'll start by activating my incantation pencil plume. I can special summon this pencil plume and one other incantation monster from my deck. I'm going to special summon my incantation candle. Candle has an on summon effect. I get to add a ritual spell from deck to hand. My incantation inception. Now I'm going to play my inception. I can use my incantation monsters as the materials for a ritual summon. Ritual summon my megalith ophiel. I can now search a megalith monster from deck to hand. I'll get megalith hacketh. I'll activate my inception engrave. I can send this pencil plume I have on the field to the grave. Spell summon an incantation monster from my deck and then add my inception back to hand. Incantation Talismandra. Talismandra has an on summon effect. I can now add a ritual monster from deck to hand. Megalith Ock. So now I'm going to ritual summon using my Megalith Ophiel's effect for my Megalith Haggith. Haggith has an on summon effect. It can start out a Megalith Spell or Trap card from the deck. I'll get my Megalith Portal. I'll go ahead and activate my Megalith Portal. Ritual monsters, the first time one will be destroyed by battle, it will not be. If a Megalith monster is supposed to summon to my field, I can then add a Megalith monster from grave to hand. I'll activate my Incantation inside from hand. We're going to use up my Talismandra for the ritual summon of my Megalith Ock. Ock has an on summon effect. I can draw one card and discard one card. And now Portal Resolves. I'm going to add a ritual monster from Rave to hand. It'll be my Ophiel. I'm going to normal summon my Manji 10,000 hands. When it's summoned, I can add a ritual spell or ritual monster from my deck to hand. I'll get my Megalith Bethor. Next, we're going to overlay my Megalith Haggith and Manju for a rank four monster. And Xyz summon my Gallic Granite. I'll use this effect. I can attach one material from it. It'll be this Haggith. And I will add one rock monster from deck to hand. The one I choose will be Block Dragon. Dang, it kind of caught me. I'll activate my Chalice Slime in hand. I can reveal it. So here's my Chalice Slime. You all see it. I can scout a card from my hand. And I can special summon an incantation monster from the deck. We're gonna just grab another candle. I can banish three rock monsters from my grave. So this Congrate, Haggith, and Ophiel to special summon the Black Dragon from my hand. Put them in defense mode. And my turn there. Right. Okay, I'll draw. I will enter the battle phase. What? And I'll end the battle phase and use my evenly matched. I'll special summon my Cyber Dragon since you control a monster and I don't. And that also lets me special summon my Cyber Dragon Veer since I summoned a Cyber Dragon. Alright, I'll just turn these guys into a Link Monster. Which Link Monster? 
And it'll be my Cyber Dragon Seeger. I haven't seen this in a while. And I'll set a card face down. I'll go ahead and use Foolish Burial as well. I'll send Cyber Dragon Hurts. Which, when it's sent to the grave, can actually search for another Cyber Dragon for me. I'll get Cyber Dragon Veer to my hand. Because it's treated as Cyber Dragon. And that's my turn. Draw. Alright, I'll activate the Chalice Slime in my hand. Reveal. And I can special summon a Incantation Monster from the deck. It'll be my Incantation Talismandra. I can search out a ritual monster from the, field, from the deck and add it to hand. I'll get my Megalith Ophir. Now I'll activate my Incantation Inception in Graveyard. I will send you. So I'll summon an Incantation monster from the deck. It'll be my Incantation Pencil Plume. And now I'll add it back to my hand. Pencil Plume's on summon effect is going to add a ritual monster from grave to hand. We'll get my Megalith Auratron. I'll activate my Incantation Inception. We'll be using a Chalice Slime in hand. And so since Unicorn is here, that means your extra deck monsters can no longer activate their effects. Switch my Block Dragon to attack mode, enter battle phase, and my Unicorn will attack your Cyber Dragon Seeker. Ah, uh, since it can't use its effect, I'll take damage. Yes! All right, game four. The All score right. is Alex two, Paul one. Three, three, two, one, Noble dolls. I guess I'll go first. <clears throat> Set this, and this, and pass. Draw. I summon my Noble Knight Midraw, my Noble Arms of Destiny. Which means that he can... Yes, yeah, so regardless of his card's effect, now that he has been equipped with a Noble Arms card, he now becomes a Dark Monster and level five, and level five as well. Activate my... Oh no. Paleozoic Dynamiscus. So I'm going to target your Medrot and send a card. That also activates Squamata's effect. Since it was sent to the graveyard by a card effect, oh. I can send a Shadal card from my deck to the graveyard. Chain activation? Yes. Caught by the grave. Oh, card. okay. I set two cards face down to get my turn. Oh my god, no. Draw. Flip. No. I can actually activate her effect to special summon a Shadal from my deck and face up or face down. Chain. Breakthrough scale. You know what? No. Inner battle. Attack. Yeah. Game. Game five. The score is 2-2. Two, two. <sighs> Let's duel. I'm not gonna get cheated out of this again. Alright, Paul, what deck are you playing? Rockets. And I'm playing Evil Eyes. I am in trouble. Okay. I'll normal summon my Magna Rocket Dragon. I'll special summon my Absa Router Dragon. I'll use Magna Rocket Dragon in order to Link Summon Striker Dragon. So I'll grab Boot Sector Launch to my hand. I'll activate my Boot Sector Launch. I'm going to use Striker Dragon's effect to destroy Absa Router and get Magna Rocket back to my hand. And that will activate my Absa Router Dragon's effect to grab a Rocket Monster from my deck to my hand. I'll get Rocket Tracer. Now I'll activate the effect of Boot Sector Launch to summon two rockets from my hand in defense position. My Quick Launch. It summons a rocket from my deck, can't attack, and it's destroyed in the end phase. Okay. I'll chain my Rocket Tracer's effect to target this card. I'll get my Rocket Recharger. I'll Link Summon Striker Dragon and Rocket Recharger. My Delingerous Dragon. I'll use Magna Rocket and Delingerous Triple Burst Dragon, and I'll Synchro Summon to make Borload Savage Dragon. Oh no. Uh, so he's no. gonna gain 800, so he'll get 38, and he gets two Boral counters. I'll activate my Evil Eye Awakening. My Basilius. I'll use Basilius' effect. I can send an Evil Eye Spell Trap card from deck to grave. I'm gonna send the Evil Eye of Gorgonio. It's the one that doesn't make me pay life points. Serial Watcher of the Evil Eye. On summon effect. I'll ah, negate it. Jesus. Who cares? Because, I mean, I don't think I'm going to get that much time. So, yeah, I'll just use Borla and Savage. And... I'll link, because I might as well get something a little bit stronger on the board. Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eyed. Okay, well, I'm going to use my Fantastical Dragon Phantasm. Oh, come on! Alright, so I get to draw two cards and shuffle back one card. I have four Evil Eye cards in my grave, so she has 2300 attack. That's not gonna. Draw for turn. Attack with Borload Savage Dragon. I'm going to activate my back row. Lost Wind! On your Borload. Well, I'll use my Borload Savage Dragon's effect. Huh. 
Yeah, I know. To negate lost wind. And that's all I had. Ugh, oh, jeez. If you had had the broiled savage, I was definitely going to try to cheese out a win. Or something? Yes, or just I was going to up activate the... my field spell, put the evil eye of Selene on the field, and then swing into something bigger than me. And <laughs> just... <laughs> I was going to make it a draw. Okay. So, current score is Paul 3, Alex 2. Yes. I picked Cyber Dragons. And you're seeing Marincess again. Alright, the first move is going to me. The swap rock in my hand, discard the CR Kyver and spell summon it to the field. Hmm. The effect will allow me to send a level 2 Alka Monster to the deck. I'm the graveyard. Response. I'll activate my infinite impermanence. Got it. On your swap frog, so no sending just yet. I'll send it back to my hand to connect with normal summon. And I'll normal summon this time my swap frog. Send to Rodan Totem. I'll draw. Special Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Just do it. Uh. I bricked. Okay, so this is game seven. Score is Paul four, four Alex two. Yeah. This is witchcrafters. And this is my noble knights, so it's knights versus witches. It's awful. Okay, anyway. I take my heritage of the chalice. I can add a noble knight monster or noble arms card from my deck to hand. Yeah. We're gonna get my Noble Knight Medrot. I'll go ahead and summon Noble Knight Medrot. Noble Arms Galatin and equip it to him. So I can spell summon one Noble Knight monster from my deck and face up defense mode. We'll get my Noble Knight Boars. He destroys Galatin. I'll have it equipped to my Noble Knight Boars. And Boars will allow me to reveal three Noble Arms cards from my deck. Which card are you adding to my hand? You get this. Do I get to know what it is? I mean, I guess I would. Yeah, you Okay. That's Calibur. So the rest go to Grave. Ah, oh, gaining some life points for a change, are we? Yeah, I don't want to lose. Yeah. Xyz summon Artorgus, King of the Noble Knights. I'm just gonna put him in defense mode. Oh yeah, he's 2k, 2k, I forgot. I'll also go ahead and activate from my hand the Noble Arms of Destiny. My move. I'll normal summon my Witchcrafter Pitor. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and activate her effect. The spell I'll be discarding is this. I have a Cosmic Cyclone in here that I can't use. If I get... Oh man, tough tough decisions when the Noble Knights are hanging around. I just figured, make our Targus and sit on him. I'm going to actually summon my Witchcrafter, Shmeta. <clears throat> See how this goes. What you gonna do? So, Witchcrafter, Shmeta. With all that Shmeta. She... It's just here for now, but I'll go ahead and activate her effect. I'll send her and Book of Moon. Ooh. Mm. Had that? Yugi Boy. That's yeah. I can't use it right now anyway, so yeah, the way I see it, might as well. For my troubles, we'll just get Witchcrafter Hain. Now I will activate my Witchcrafter Pitor. I'll banish her. I get to draw a card and I have to discard a Witchcrafter. So I'll draw one, card my Witchcrafter Madame Ver. Use my Witchcrafter Shmieta. I can banish her just to send a Witchcrafter thing to the grave. Those I'll just are, send my Witchcrafter draping. To... Next, I'll use Monster Reborn. Uh -oh. I'm going Go to back. target my Witchcrafter Madame Ver. Oh no. Witchcrafter Creation. Which means I won't actually be able to get it back in my end phase. I'm going to get my Witchcrafter Golem Aruru. Let me re Go to my end phase, which means that I can activate Witchcrafter Draping. Mm -hmm. Return it to my hand. Your move. I'm gonna right. wall this out as best I can. My draw. I switch my Torgus to attack mode. Activate my Noble Arms Claret. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Yes. I did not realize the life you point have to cost. pay life points to attack me directly. Uh, okay, wait. I have a plan. Okay, we're gonna see what the plan is. I, I can attach one Xyz material from it and destroy any number of spell or trap cards on the field up to the number of Noble Arms cards I control. So I can activate its effect. I'm going to attach this Medrot. Yeah, I'll let it go through. All right. Then I've popped my Arfei Dieter, and I will not be re-equipping it. To gain the first life points gained in this duel. 500, 500 more one. life points. So I have 600 life points altogether. And now that means I can use my Claret. So you're gonna use its effect? Yes, I'll pay 500 life points. And now my Artorgus can attack directly. <laughs> you thought, now's my chance. 
I'm going to use Witchcrafter Hain in response to your Noble Knight, Noble Arms Clarent, and I will discard Witchcrafter Draping to target and destroy it. So if you're able to re-equip it, you could just do it again, I'm assuming. But it I, doesn't have a hard once per turn, but right? But what's the 500 a cost? Because I can't just pay that again. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> oh, come on. So it gets destroyed. You can re-equip it, right? <laughs> Are you? You're back at one life point, bitch. <laughs> okay. I guess I have to re-equip my Claret. You can try again next turn. <laughs> Oh gosh. Go ahead and enter the battle phase. Mm -hmm. I'll have my Atorgus attack your Hain. Okay. <clears throat> well. Is... I'll activate my Witchcrafter Golem Aruru. Ah, shoot. Draping. And it just returns to my hand. So goodbye, Hain. If, if you didn't have that Caliburn, yeah, then that might have been reason, it. That's the only reason I did that. I'm gonna have to slow roll this one to try to get to a victory here. I'm gonna have to move to end phase. And I just need to do the damage. So I'll switch my Witchcrafter Golem to attack position. Yeah, I'll go to the battle phase. At 28, I will attack your Artorias. Do it. During damage calculation, I'll activate Madame Ver, reveal three different named uh. Witchcrafter cards. Ah, yes! And gain 3,000 to put myself at 58 and deal the one life point I need. Okay, guys, so that concludes the one life point Yu-Gi-Oh! Sudden Death Challenge. I won this one, five and two. What about you? How did you feel? I don't have the stamina for this. I don't either. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let us know any other fun challenges you'd like us to do. And without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.